Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make this really cute holder. It actually holds two note cards and two note card envelopes. And I learned this at the Stampin' event that I went to this last weekend in Lansing with Kim and Chris and Dawn and their whole group. This project was one of them that we made. And I did a little research and I seen that Terry... Terry Gaines had made a video on this same holder a, a while ago, and I liked the closure on her little bag. So we're going to do that little closure on our bag today. So this is the one that I made with the Let It Snow designer paper. So you pinch this circle together, and then your panel slides up, and then you can reveal your note cards and envelopes. And then I'm going to also show you how to have a matching envelope for your cards. Isn't that cute? So I don't know if you can actually get more than two in there. I mean, I guess you could try, but I just haven't had time. I wanted to hurry up and get this video filmed since I just got back from the Lansing event. So, all right, so we're gonna make this one using the Brightly Gleaming designer paper and the Christmas Gleaming stamp set. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the difference between this one that I made earlier and the one we're gonna make today is I'm gonna use the Very Vanilla instead of the Whisper White. So this is how this one opens up. We're using the oval dies. And then inside here, I just made one of the note cards in Whisper White, because we have Whisper White and Very Vanilla. So I'm gonna make the Very Vanilla version so I can show you both colors with this cute little holder, all right? All right, so let me go ahead and show you the boxes. So now these are the Stampin' Up! mini boxes, mini shipping boxes, and they are so cute. And you actually can get a lot of stuff in these boxes. So you're going to take one of your boxes and we're going to first pinch the box flat. So it's going to be like this. So you're going to open it up. It's like this. And then you're going to pinch it flat. So what you're going to do is you're going to line up this edge and these edges here with the flaps. And you're going to just pinch that closed. And I'm just going to finger press as I go down here, just making sure that all lines up nicely. Then you can take your bone folder. Let me grab mine. So you're going to want to burnish these edges really nicely. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to take our line here, this outside edge, and we're going to line it up with that edge that you can see that little cut line there. You're going to line this edge up with this edge. And I find that if you want to score it, you can on your Simply Scored or your cutting platform. But I find that it just it works fine with you just folding it over. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that. Now one thing you will want to do is you want to take your bone folder and crease it this way and then also fold it the opposite way so you get a really nice crisp score line right there because these boxes are a little bit stiffer than normal cardstock, all right? So then we're going to go ahead and turn it on the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to take this edge and line it up with this. And I think it's about three-fourths of an inch if you want to score that on your scoring tool or your Simply Scored or your paper trimmer. But like I said, you can just fold it. It works just fine. Okay. So now you're going to take your box and you're going to open it up. Now you're going to see your score lines here on the edge. So now we're going to fold it like accordion style. So you're going to fold this up, down, and then down and up just like that so it should look like this now from the side and the top okay then do the exact same thing on this side so this one's already done so you got it down valley up mountain and then another valley and then a mountain okay so it's going to fold up like this just like that. Let me burnish that again really quick. All right, so there's your box like that. Now this is the bottom of our bag. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna fold this over, making sure that lines up fairly good. And of course, burnish that. Okay, now we're gonna put some tear and tape along this edge right here. Let me grab that. Now this tear and tape is going to be sticking to the back side of the inside of our little bag. And one piece is good, so we're just going to go ahead and put our tear and tape on the edge and just going to peel that off. Now this might be the trickiest part of all of it, is getting this panel right here 
into this section right here. So you're going to tuck this edge right here into this pocket right here without trying to stick it down yet because you want that to get into the inside first before we stick it down. And these little cut lines here want to be tucked up inside as well. So you make sure you get that tucked up in there. Like I said, this is probably going to be the most difficult part of this bag. But once it gets in there past the tear and tape and that little cut line, then you're good to go. So then once you get that in there, then press that down. And remember that tear and tape in there is sticking to the front or the back side of the inside. And then this is going to be considered the back side of our bag. So I want to make sure that that's really nice and adhered. So you shouldn't see any gaps in there because this is where the cards are going to slide into in the envelope. Let me show you here. So you can slide that right in there with the one. You could probably get three, maybe even four cards in there. But like I said, I haven't tried it. So you can try it. All right, so now we're going to decorate it. So remember, this is the front. And then this side right here where that seam is, is going to be the back. So we're going to take some ribbon. I'm going to use the classic weave ribbon. I believe that's what it's called from the holiday catalog with the Merry Christmas in the copper. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this around the bottom edge of our box. And I want to make sure I have enough to tie a knot. Let me get my scissors. Okay, so now there's a trick to tying this ribbon because if you want the wording to show out, Kind of like on this one here, so let me show you. Even though this ribbon part here is upside down, but you still get the idea. And then the knot part is the vanilla part that's showing. So you're just going to take your ribbon, and I'm going to tie a regular base of your knot, right? But instead of having vanilla down here and the copper, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over right in the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over to the copper side. So when I pull it, it should show copper on both sides, just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and knot this over. And this is where the vanilla part shows through. And then the tails, see how that knot right there? But this tail's copper and then this tail's knot. So then I'm going to, once again, I'm going to turn it as I'm pulling it. So I'm going to flip it so the copper wording is showing out just like that. <laughs> of course, being on video is probably a little bit more difficult to see that. You can rewatch that if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the tails. So there's the ribbon on the bottom of the bag. Now we're going to make our topper part right here. Okay, so then this is the designer paper, the Brightly Gleamy. And these are both cut the same. So one's for the top. And then one's for my note cards. So depending on how many note cards you want to put in your little bag, you'll want to cut however many note cards you're adding. All right. So, but I'm just going to do one for today. So I cut two and these are both cut at three and a quarter by four and three quarter. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to score one piece for the topper part of our bag. So let me grab my trimmer. All right. So this is on the four and three quarter inch side. Yes. And we're going to score at one and seven eighths. Make sure you don't use the dark blade, you're using the lighter blade to score. So we're gonna score at one and seven eighths, and then we're gonna turn it and score it again at one and seven eighths. Okay, so this is gonna make your little topper part of your bag, okay? And then this piece is just gonna go onto your note card, so there's no scoring or anything for that. All right, so next we're going to cut the classic label punch and we're going to turn our designer paper for the four and three quarter inch side across the top and we're going to slide in our classic label punch all the way in and we're going to line it up with the edge over here. So we're going to punch our little slot. That's where our little be jolly this season little closure is going to slide into. We're going to grab our tear and tape again. This time we're going to put it on the back side over here. I'm going to run two strips of tear and tape. This is going to get adhered to the back of our bag. You could also corner around the corners of this. That would be really pretty. But today I'm just going to show you how to make this cute little bag. So we're going to peel off the backing. Now the closure is a little bit more involved, so I'm saving that for last. 
But once you do it, you'll get it, all right? So we're going to take the back where the tear and tape is. Now this piece right here, we're not going to adhere it down until we get it centered over top of our bag. So this is going to kind of be tricky to hold that without sticking it down and sticking it to your fingernail. Okay, so we're going to kind of eyeball the bag and just lightly set it down. And you're eyeballing the front, so it's kind of in the center, right? And then you're going to go ahead and open up the bag and then just press that down on the back. Press that tear and tape really good down on the back. So now this is going to be the flap that's going to close your bag, okay? All right, so now let's make the closure part of this little classic label. So what I did is I went ahead and stamped already the greeting. And that's the and be jolly this season. And I also punched out with the, the die cutting machine, the big shot, with the oval, layering oval dies. Let me show you those. So these were the two sizes that I used. So this one was for the greeting right here, and then the scallop was for the copper foil sheet. And then this is the stamp set I used, the Christmas gleaming. This and be jolly this season is beautiful. We're gonna layer these together with some snail. Let me grab that. And then we're going to fold this in half. You could actually fold each piece in half and then adhere it together. Either way, it works. Okay, so this is going to be the closure part of our little bag. Then you're going to take two extra, and I just used the vanilla, of the same size with the greeting. Okay, so we're going to fold these both in half. This is going to make the foundation of your closure. So everything stays locked in place. I'm just going to use the snail. So I'm going to put snail on the back side of one of the ovals that are folded in half. Okay. So we're going to take the snail part of the oval and we're just going to layer this on one side on the back. And then take the other oval and layer that on the opposite side. Just like that. Okay, so now this is the piece that's going to be adhered down on your bag. So you can see here, so it's going to adhere down and then this is going to fold up to go into the classic label. All right, so we're going to take some tear and tape to securely add this to the bag. And I tried the snail and it wasn't holding it good. So remember, these are the two ovals that we folded in in half. And we're going to put couple strips of adhesive of the tear and tape because this is pretty strong adhesive on the back of the ovals where they're folded in half like that okay we're going to peel that off okay so now we're going to go ahead and grab a pencil because we got to get our guide here so what I did is I closed up the bag just lightly leaving it open and see how it falls just on its natural state. So I'm just going to open it up right there. And then I'm just going to lightly draw a little pencil line just to get a guide of where that's going to close. Okay, so there's my guide. It's not very good, but it gives me an idea of where to put this closure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, the center part of the fold line of the Be Jolly greeting and I'm going to set that right between those pencil lines that I made for my guide. Hopefully that's good. And then press that tear and tape down really, really nicely. And then this is going to fold into that classic label just like that. And then you're going to open that up just like that. So that's going to make your little closure for your little card bag. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. So then I also added some of the star designer elements. I added two onto the little tag topper. I guess we could call that. Okay. And then now let's make the card really quick. So we're going to go ahead and take our note cards. Remember, this? these come in vanilla, very vanilla, and also in whisper white. So this is the Whisper White. So you can see, hopefully on camera, the difference. So here's my designer paper. So we're just gonna make these cards really simple. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and put our designer paper onto the note card. 
Remember, this is the three and a quarter by four and three quarter. And then I went ahead and already punched out another of the copper foil sheet and the greeting because we wanted to match the bag. So we're going to put these together. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. I'm just going to set this right in the center of the note card. So these would be really a cute little gift to give to somebody, whether you're a demonstrator and you're doing it as a hostess gift, or like my mom would love these kind of cards. All right, so now we're going to decorate the envelopes. Let me show you how to do that. Oh, we got to add our stars. Let me add two stars to kind of bring in the front of the bag to the cards as well. So you can just randomly add a couple of the stars to that. All right, now here's the envelope. And you're going to take the same designer paper, this is the Brightly Gleaming, and I'm just going to use the snail. And what you're going to do is you're going to cover the snail on top of the flap here. Okay, and then you're going to take your designer paper. These are like making your own designer envelopes, seriously. It's so cute and it's so, like, just that added touch that makes it look so professional. All right, so then we're going to take our scissors. Let me grab my paper snips. And then you're just going to fold that over, and then you're just going to follow the line of the envelope. How easy is that? Okay, and there's your matching envelope with your cute little Christmas card. Oh my gosh, don't you love it? So let me show you the Whisper White envelope and the note card with the very vanilla. It'd probably be really nice to put two of each in the, in the little holder. So we're just going to go ahead and slide these in. Let me open up the little tab here. So then you're just going to put your card into the, the little groove of your accordion. Put this one right here. Maybe one more card will fit in there. And then you just close it up. Like that. Isn't that cute? What a unique way to make a little bag to hold note cards out of a box. I love it. All right, so here's the other one. Let me, show, let me close this one up. So this one is using the Whisper White. And then here's the one that's using the Let It Snow. And I used the Circle Punch. I think this was the one and a half inch Circle Punch. So you can see here that I just did the circles folded them in half, just like I did the ovals. But either one is cute. And then here's the note cards for that one with the matching envelopes as well. Aren't they cute? All right, well, thank you, ladies, for all your inspiration for this cute little bag. I absolutely love it, and I had to share it with you guys. Hopefully, you guys learned something new today. So if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll have all the items listed below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later. Bye.